Hello, so Mima Group did our final piece on Staggish Sharky, which was made in 1909 by an artist named George Bellows. Um, there's a brief description, as you'll see in the beginning of the PowerPoint, pretty much just saying how boxing was illegal in New York at the time, and only the strongest fittest were flourished in the modern society. The two elements I did the piece on and described were color and texture. Um, the color of the stag is more of a combination of a light and dark color, which helps the viewer contact between the two different boxes. The three main colors were a light beige, a very dark brown, and a medium type of color beige. The texture is made more of an oil canvas. The art that is incorporated is more of a, in his time, so he really understood how to incorporate it in his painting. There's also some visible brush strokes in the raking light. And the way it relates to me individually is the way I live and die by sports. I would say that's my favorite thing to do and I most definitely watch. If there's a big, huge store, sport event near me, I would love to go and, and uh, witness it. And uh, I agree how it, sports can showcase the strongest and fittest people in the entire world. Hi, my name is Cherie Solis. Composition refers to the arrangement of elements in an art piece. We can look at the composition of the piece, Stag at Sharkies by George Bellows. Here we can see that Staggett Sharkies has asymmetrical balance, which distributes the visual weight evenly throughout the painting. The two wrestlers, left of center, are painted in light tones and are approximately balanced by the referee, right of center, who is painted in shadow. The wrestlers are painted in the lightest tones. They are the most emphasized and are thus the focal points of the piece. Unity in this is achieved through the use of light and shadow, drawing the piece together to cohese at the center. There is also a variety of shapes in motion among the wrestlers, the referee, and the heads of the spectators surrounding them, all of which creates the sense of capturing a moment in time. So I'm an English major and a freshman here at FAU. As a Filipino American, I remember growing up watching the famous boxing matches of Filipino boxer Manny Pacquiao on TV with my family members. We would stay up till midnight to watch the end of the match. The painting brings back memories of my childhood. Um, it gives me a sense of nostalgia and reminds me of the communal aspect um, of excitement and pride when watching a match, cheering on someone that you take pride in. Hi, my name is Christian Sanchez. I'm currently in FAU with an undecided degree. Um, I chose to take this class, Art Appreciation, because I was really interested in art and I wanted to know more about it. Um, the piece that we chose today was Stag at Sharky's, made in 1909 by an artist named George Bellows. And the personal connection that I got was that it showed dedication among the two players. Both players are clearly drawing close to the last breath because of how tired they are, but they refuse to give in to the tiredness until one of them is the last one standing. It reminds me of the dedication of myself and how certain things will make me tired, but how I should never give up until I reach my goal. And the element that I chose was the shape. So the artist made it clear that the center of attention would be the two boxers because they are the biggest in the painting. Um, the crowd are only barely visible and is to focus solely on the artist. And that makes us, the viewer, decide for ourselves what kind of backstory is why these two people are fighting in the first place. Hello, my name is Jonathan Sanchez. I'm a freshman student attending FAU and I'm majoring in criminal justice. The painting I have, the painting that we did is Stag at Shark Keys made by George Bellows. And I can connect to this painting because boxing is something I enjoy watching and seeing the painting about, about boxing is exciting to me because I like how rough the sport is and how at the end, the fighters, they always come out beaten up, but they still are going to continue and bounce back to finish the fight. This just shows to me that no matter what comes up in life, you can still bounce back and continue to do what you need to do. But the pattern in the, the, the artwork is gradation pattern because on the sides of the painting, there's very little details on the crowd's faces. But as you move more into the middle where the um, the fighters are at, you can get more details on the crowd in the middle as along with the fighters too. It just shows how the, the artist wants to be more details in the middle. I'm Santiago and I am a freshman attending Florida Atlantic University in the health science field. Boxing has always been something that has been incorporated in my life as I have had older relatives as well as younger siblings participate in the said sport. Having gone to their practices and being able to see pay-per-view fights with my family on the TVs, it has always brought a sense of pride as you, the viewer, knows the respective fighters put in hard work and dedication in preparation for the match. 
In George Bellows' Stag at Sharkey's, I am able to see the countless amount of people who participate both in and outside of the ring. Whether that be the fighters themselves, the referee, or the people who are there to train or watch. This value can be forms of gradation as well as color. Within George Bellows' Stag at Sharkey's, Bellows makes use of dark colors such as black and navy. Bellows also uses dark, darker lighting and shadows. In the center of the painting, Bellows makes use of brighter, more centralized lighting in order to show or highlight the two fighters and bring focus to them, as well as lighter colors such as tans, whites, peaches, and... This painting speaks to me for the strength and perseverance that radiates from the boxers. But as an athlete, this piece draws me to think about all of the work that goes into competing outside of the competition itself. The deepest factor that comes to me from the piece is the realization that all of the dedication that is required to train in advance is irrelevant in the eyes of the masses, or as in the spectators in this case. All they see is the current moment, and the only thing that they need to hold judgment of the individuals and to form their opinions is the current moment and those skills, nothing else. For the formal element of lines in this piece, the rigid lines of the cage serve as the barrier that highlights the juxtaposition between the wild emotions in the ring and the more subdued spectators. The quality of the lines that are used by artists can convey emotional attributes to the viewer. The jagged and pronounced lines that make up the boxer's muscular structure imply ferocity and an electric energy that is seen throughout the piece.